Hello, everybody. This is Val from Decapitated. You're gonna watch an interview with me in United Rock Nations. It's perfect, Rob. Thank you for this introduction. My pleasure. It wasn't easy because <laughs> <laughs> I still here. I just come back five minutes ago from the studio. I, I'm straight from my car from the way to the studio, and I still can hear those. Uh, Rasta of the screams I was listening for about six hours today plus after that we have like 35 minutes break and then mm -hmm. I I did the, the uh, intros plus some solo parts with the whammy bar really high like wow like squeeing uh, like for three hours so oh, it was kind okay. of tough day but <laughs> we making big progress with the album and we almost finished Oh. Okay, so it's a, it, it's a, a good information because I've got a question about this new album at the end of the interview. Okay. So I'm very happy you are working uh, on now. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, who are you, Vogue? Because you, uh, yes, you were on studio in order to work for this new album. So are you okay? I'm, go I'm good. I'm good, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah, I know. Like situation is is hard for the for everyone in the metal scene and in the in music industry. We know, you know, like how how hard it it was last year for all of us. But I have to say, you know, I'm I'm still in good health. I didn't I didn't get uh, corona, and and all my family are okay, are safe. Uh, so I, I, I did first uh, shot of vaccine and I'm looking forward to do it in the next two weeks. So hopefully I will be, you know, vaccinated soon. I, I counting my days for that because, uh, you know, it's it, as much as of all of us will be vaccinated, then it's obvious that we can come back for the stage and we can come back for, for tours and, and hopefully everything gonna be uh, back soon. It looks like uh, it, there's a chance right now for comeback. Yes, it looks, it looks like. So. Yeah, but it's, I feel my it, personality. It's very, I, yes, in the humans. Yeah, so I, I feel great right now and don't have any problems with that. And I spent my last year uh, making new riffs, making new songs, and right now I finished the album. I was busy all the time, so I I, I use I use that time, I use that free time. In other way, I mean, I we couldn't tour, touring, and it was hard. But in the other way, I spend more time with my family, and I have uh, really for the first time since since many years because it was no touring. I have so much time for preparing the new songs, so. Album, new album. I know you want to talk about the album on the on the end okay. of the interview, but yes, so I will keep this for I keep this keep keep this for later. Yeah, yes. In the in the first part of the interview, uh, we were talking about the the release, uh, the reissue of this uh, your, your your first demo you released yeah. twenty years ago. So yeah. uh, you announced twist, uh, two weeks ago on uh, so on uh, social networks. So you uh, you announced uh, that you will release uh, a, a reissue uh, of the your first demo with no mixing, no master, with the same organic song than uh, twenty years ago. So uh, yeah. I want to know. Why this choice to release, uh, mm -hmm. yes, a, a new issue of this uh, compilation of your first demo? Well, I mean, it was it was actually few reasons to doing that. Uh, of course, it was a, a it was great occasion to make some money, <laughs> but it's a good question. It's, it's, it's a good answer. <laughs> you know, but... I got it. <laughs> 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 right, but yes, yes. in the other hand, it also a, a, a lots of good reasons to do that. Uh, maybe first first reason was that we finally uh, had the rights for those uh, demo tapes back. Band is owning the rights again after all those years. Um, 
And also, um, the last time, because those two demo tapes were released 20 years ago by Metal Mind Production, which is Polish label, and uh, those, it was in the same title, first them, and it was released over mostly over the Polish um, um, territory, so it wasn't like big re official worldwide release for the band. It means that means it not every decapitated fan uh, can uh, could could listen that, and uh, probably the the most important uh, also the most important. Uh, reason was that um, it's just like um, such a great opportunity to introduce the band from 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 the beginnings, like show people how it was, how it like how it looks on the beginning, uh, how it sounding on the be really beginning of the band and with the original lineup. And this is really interesting thing, I have to say. And and for, I guess for people, they started to listen Decapitated since five or six or even 10 years. This is the interesting, this, I, I think it will be interesting story to discover band again, and the history of the band and the group. So, I think it's a couple of good reasons to to to. It was a couple of good reasons to release those demo tapes again. And also, as you said in the question, uh, we didn't do anything with with the sound. We didn't try to make it sounding better, or we didn't try to take out some of the mistakes we did, which is hundreds of that in there, of course. But I think that it was important to deliver the same uh, uh, the same thing, the same sound uh, from the past. There was a, and also, I I can say I'm really proud that uh, those demo tapes are releasing on the uh, LP on. On the vinyl and on a cassette, like, incredible thing! It is just incredible thing that Nuclear Blast Records uh, releasing this stuff. Uh, yes, for me, it's... cassette. He releasing cassette, and this is the first time it will be. Uh, it will release in LP too. Because to, uh, because LP, of, uh, yeah, yes, LP. Because uh, the first time no LP, only cassette. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so this is in. A question about uh, a question about the artwork because you uh, you, you um, so the, the sound uh, is the same, uh, very organic, very amazing for me because uh, I like the sound uh, of the eighties, nineties. Uh, sorry, uh, because it, it is less compressed, is less digital than uh, than now. And but you you uh, you changed the uh, the cover art. Uh, a new cover art for this release. So why is this uh, new cover art and what's the meaning of this cover art? Um, so so I, was, I was talking about this layout, in, what we have inside that um, there's a full of the old pictures of the band and, and uh, some of the um, a part of the interviews or reviews uh, from the beginning of the band. And it just looks amazing, and it looks like really old school uh, demo uh, demo layout from back in the days when the metal metal community share uh, tapes. They sending letters to each other. They talk about music by by sending letters, and it was this kind of communication. So we, you know, we did this Xero copy. Uh, on the of the cover of the cassettes and uh, it was it was uh, completely different uh, to compare to what is going on these days uh, of course when we have emails and, and and internet and social media 
uh, so we, we we've been trying to uh, do in this style of the you know of the early days when we started on, on the kind of metal scene uh, from the 90s especially on the underground scene so that's why cover looks like that so now, before talking the, of this new album, uh, I want to have your feeling when you look when you looking back, uh, when you you could see how do you uh, how you how, excuse me how far you come, uh, uh, new album uh, live etc. What is your feeling and what is the evolution about uh, about decapitated after more than 20 years? Yes, it's it, it's gonna be it's gonna be almost 25 years right now since we started, so it's a lot. It's a huge, a huge uh, amount of the years, and uh, um, it's so talking about this uh, the early years. We I feel like talking about the uh, prehistory, uh, but sometimes when I think about that, I'm I'm still doing the same. I, I still play kind of actually similar things on guitar. Maybe I'm just better and more uh, experienced uh, as a composer, as a guitar player, or as a performer. It's it's 25 years of experience, of course, but um, when I go to the studio or I go to play with my friends uh, on the rehearsal room, I, I kind of feel the same and I'm um, Even I'm almost 40 right now. I feel like playing guitar, playing this band, I feel like 18, 20 years old all the time. So it's a good, it's a good time machine playing in a in a band for that long. But yeah, the we we've been into like really, really what long way since Uh, since those times till now and uh, many things happened and and uh, you know I, I can only say because I'm the only original member from the band uh, I have I have uh, contact with the other members with Saron and with Martin bass player from the original lineup they're doing well they they are healthy and then uh, sometimes they are engage on the other metal project as well some from time to time to time and we have good relationships and so I just when I see for the for the those uh, uh, begin beginning times I just see the, a bunch of, of fellows of, of teenagers that uh, were full of passion for for listen and playing music. Uh, we've been huge metal, death metal, trash metal fans, and uh, it was a cool story because when we start to play and, and we released, we not release is too big word, but we when we re, uh, record this first demo tape uh, and the some of the rumors start to be going around our hometown, which was full of of our older friends, metalheads, we got some some kind of respect from the people around. And uh, and it was good feeling because uh, uh, we've been all we, we as a as a kid we've been always looking for the older friends that older metal fans, uh, metal heads in, in our hometown and as soon as they know about us they start to treating us as equal, you know, almost like a people in the same age. And it was kind of important to, you know, start to be in the same community and being respect because we play. Um, there's uh, also many, many different stories from those times, but I have good memories talking about the, the, these days. It was long time ago. It's like a dream, but it's reality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's a cool thing. I mean, I mean to, yeah. to have those those demo release right now. It's it it it's deliver uh, those old times to 
to these days and for us it's really sentimental and then we can introduce we can show uh with little sometimes with a little shame because you know it sounds like it sounds but it's not that bad in the other hand but it's cool thing that we had all this opportunity together with Nuclear Blast to show our fans uh, how it was on the beginning. So now uh, let's talk about this new album because I've got no information about this new album. So I think it's a good idea. Uh, Anticult, it was for four years ago. Yeah. So, uh, this album, yes, Anticut was very groovy, very technical. Mm -hmm. Yes, your your kind of death metal uh, uh, have been uh, have a, a good evolution. Yes, uh, I think, um, and less old school than before. But yeah, what's about this new album? Is uh, it is a uh, the continuity of Anticut, or do you want to make something new? Yeah, so basically, it's it's <coughs> it's not it's not a continuation of anti cult. Um, it's it's kind of it will be it will be for people that that think it will be continuation of anti cult, or for people that that uh, thinking that on anti cult we find our own style or path to go in the future it will be kind of it will be really surprising and it will be a shock when they will listen new album because it will be really really turn it will be turned to the really extreme metal music okay. because of on on the anti cold i mean in some way some of the songs are different it, but uh, there is a lot of death metal Lots of aggression and it it will be surprising and maybe even shocky for for people that that are looking uh, on us right now on the from the perspective on last or last two albums okay. because on the anti cold we actually yeah we we go for a really there was a little of death metal still and every every the whole album was kind of on the death metal atmosphere because we our roots are from there but it was lots of also like a trashy rock and roll and you know like this groovy uh, songs like air scar like kill the cat kind of even like a radio songs and the hit songs style <laughs> But still heavy, but really kind of, you know, maybe not commercial, but, you know, easy to, you know, understand, to, yes, to get. To, okay. More groovy, more, more bright than technical or brutal. But right now it's, uh, it's like more, I, I would say, more metal in, in metal. Okay. And uh, what was your inspiration for the songwriting of this new album? I mean, I, I, I don't know if you talk about the about the, what kind of music I listen or what, because inspiration is always like I always say the same because it's it's everything around what's going on around in your life basically. Okay. And, I mean, my inspiration. I probably the still the same. This is something like I was grown in '90s with, with all these metal bands around. Uh, so my inspiration, I treating as like I have inspiration on beginning and everything what I was listening back in the days, in '80s '90s, it's still inside of me, inside of you know my DNA of my metal DNA. So I think I'm, I still continue uh, this kind of style I was inspired back in the days. Of course, I, I'm, I'm listening to some of the new music coming out and probably I'm inspired of 
some of the things I listen at home, um, but mo mostly is like still like old school stuff, like Slayer, like uh, maybe I I go more for things like Mastodon or Kill, Killer Be Killed, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know if I, I I can choose like some of the bands or music that or artists that that I can I can. Uh, say that oh i'm i inspired by this guy this guy of course if you will listen your album you will hear some inspiration but this will be more like old school death metal bands plus slayer <laughs> i yes. guess so you, you will you... hear you will hear polish death metal music you will hear i don't know you know everything uh, hard to say but it's gonna be it's gonna be metal. It's gonna be metal. It's, there's a have, lot of lots of surprise. We will have to surprise when we yeah, when we discover this new album. Um, have you got a, uh, um, a date for the a gig for the release of this new album? Uh, I I think I cannot talk about that right now. Okay, but uh, right now. Right now we just we finish tracking and then we have to do mix so and it's always take a few months to prepare okay. uh, album to release so all the all the tracks are finished or you have got uh, another tracks to to compose no 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 uh, all tracks I can only say it will be ten tracks on the album mm -hmm. and all of all of all of them are finished and uh, it's all of them record there's like few vocals left and few solo part on guitar and that's it all guitars all drums and bass are done and we're yeah. almost ready for the mix oh yes very good and yeah. uh maybe it's too uh, too soon to have uh, the title of this new album <laughs> It's still we we don't decide about that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I okay. Oh, I am. Uh, I'm looking forward <laughs> to listen to this new album. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm happy that you are really curious about that, and I, I wish you, I wish to give you more information, but I would just keep you uh, a little bit more with the tension, but. I, I, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, decapitated fans will be will be will be uh, in a positive surprise, and I'm sure we uh, we have a really strong album in our hands. Good. Uh, you talked about uh, Slayer in your inspiration. Uh, band. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my, my wife is listening to Slayer all the time, and you know I cannot escape <laughs> from that. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I am a big fan of death metal and black metal, but my favorite band is Slayer because I think in Slayer we could listen to every kind of metal only in Slayer because they are so avant-gardist. <laughs> if this, if you are a metal fan, if, and and if you say you don't like Slayer, you you are not yes, you cannot you are not a metal fan. <laughs> it's like a Mike Patton said that uh, don't I don't trust people they don't like Slayer. Yes, I, it's right. I agree with him. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to 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 come back on uh, so on, on on the release the, the first band. Uh, you made the cover of Slayer "Mandatory Suicide." Yeah. Why this song? Because all bands always. Uh, do a cover of Red and Blood and it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And you show the mandatory suicide and it's maybe an excellent song. Yeah, maybe because uh, back in the days this uh, Raining Blood was too hard, like double bass, drums and stuff like that. Maybe maybe because we didn't uh, wanna uh, play it bad. And uh, mandatory suicide was seems to a little bit easier song, maybe that's why. I don't know. It was just this song. It, it it had this catchy beginning. I mean, "Raining Blood" is also like a hit song, but maybe yeah, maybe that was the reason because I don't remember. Maybe that was the reason that we didn't "Raining Blood" because everyone playing "Raining Blood." So 
And Mandatory Suicide was a little bit like kind of B, side B song and and have a really good star like it's really characteristic and really cool. So okay. that's like one of my favorite Slayer songs. And um, about the interlude Danse Macabre in French. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, what's about this interlude? And uh, I've got a question after of this, uh, this title. But what's about the, 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 yes, this interlude in the album, uh, in the... Uh, com- uh, uh, that idea for this uh, intro, because it's an intro song on the keyboard. Oh, it's an intro song, okay. And then, then uh, our singer, Sauron, he delivered the title. Um, probably it was inspired by, because we've been in music schools and we've been, we, we, we uh, have the lessons of the uh, history of music. And so that was a, a lot of composers from music, from the classical music have this dance, dance macabre uh, titles. Mm-hmm. It was quite popular back in the days in, I don't know which uh, times, like Renaissance or in the Middle Ages. I, I don't remember. But yeah, it was probably taking inspiration from, from the, some of the, you know, uh, music history of the classic music thing. Do you think Marduk took this name from you in this album, the grand, La Grande Danse Macabre. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure not. Uh... <laughs> yes, when I, when I saw that on the track list, I, 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 I uh, think about Marduk immediately because there is this album, ah. La, La Grande Danse Macabre, yes. So it's yeah, probably, my, probably more band, metal bands, we could find more metal bands with this title, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, about gigs now, because the pandemic seems to be controlled. Uh, we hope so. Uh, so uh, do you plan some gigs uh, in Europe and in France, maybe in the few months or next next year? Uh, we're planning next year. We're planning uh, to have European tour next year about February, March. Okay. And I hope it will be a tour that we will already promote the new album. Okay. And maybe uh, a a lot of bands uh, during the pandemic uh, did a lot of uh, live streaming. Uh, Is is it a possibility for Decapitate to do this kind of live? No, uh, I'm... You know, I, I was, I seen a few live streams and uh, it was cool because at least, you know, th- because there's no shows and, and I could just sit, sit in, in my, my, my home and, and watch some of the shows on my laptop. But I'm not a big fan. I, I, I mean, I, I don't have problem to, you know, to watch this uh, from the other bands, but I will be not going for that with decapitated i don't know i just don't feel that way uh, i know it's some some way to survive for some of the bands and uh, opportunity to just continue and and make some money and uh, to survive in the in the hard times uh, but uh, we didn't go this way also we didn't have the the the, the bass player that could could do that uh, um so i i was just so much so busy with the new songs i i just focused on that since mm-hmm. since march 20 2020 i was all the time in my room you know making a new album so okay. i didn't think about any of this i just want to wait for the normal shows when situation will be solved and and i will go with a big pleasure again to the stage and perform us in a classic way. My last question, Rog, for this interview. Uh, what do you think uh, about the metal extreme uh, in Poland, so Polish uh, extreme metal? Uh, what do you think about the evolution? Because uh, a lot of band could uh, do the best from this country to ground around the world, etc., etc., with this kind of music, uh, 
in this kind of music is not commercial, but uh, a lot of bands like you, like Vader, like Eight, like Behemoth, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, have a good uh, feeling in the world and the public. So, mm -hmm. how could you explain that? And what is your feeling? What do you think about that? Oh, uh, I, I was answering for this question many times, and every time I answer for that is is different, and I trying to I trying to find a reason why it's like that, and 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 because Polish metal the scene is seems to be really strong compared to the other countries they sometimes then maybe have one or maximum two bands or sometimes some countries don't even have in a, even one band that it's going out of the country like like Vader or like Behemoth uh, I don't know I mean I don't know to be honest I don't know the reason uh, I don't want to sound like a, a someone who trying to explain it because some of the musicians saying that this is because uh, Poland mentality is like that it's like perfect for playing this kind of music uh, because we 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 have that we've been as a country for such a long time uh, as a kind of prisoners of the other countries and we and the second world war Uh, hit us really strong in here and you know like things like that like historical reasons and uh, maybe okay. because of the religion thing is so strong in 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 Poland as well so so maybe uh, younger people they this you know they want to have their own path in life and uh, metal music is a great opportunity to you know our inverted crosses and and do stuff like that And I don't know, or we just we just uh, we don't we don't know why we don't know reason. Without the reason, we are just good with playing metal music. We are maybe we are good musicians. <laughs> <laughs> oh sure, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> bye bye. Have a great evening. Bye. Good evening. <laughs>